The man you see is a stockbroker. We've come a long way from the classic image of stock trading. There are still men in loud jackets here on Wall Street. Now, though, you don't have to be a trader to trade stocks. You can do it right on your phone through apps like Robinhood. Robinhood lets everyday people buy and sell shares without charging any fees. But it comes with a catch. It's called payment for order flow, and it's illegal in most markets in the world, including the United Kingdom. Now, American politicians want to hear from this man, Robin Hood's chief executive, Vlad Tenev, about why his company relies on this controversial practice. So let's take a look at how it works. Investors place orders through Robin Hood. Robin Hood sells those orders to investment firms. Those firms execute the orders on behalf of Robin Hood's investors. Remember the GameStop saga? Small investors rushing to buy shares in a struggling video game retailer all to inflate the price and give a black eye to some major Wall Street players betting against GameStop. One of the biggest middlemen executing orders to buy GameStop shares for Robinhood's customers was Citadel Securities. So why, you might ask yourself, would Citadel buy orders? What is it they say about knowledge is power? Investment firms get market data, they give Robinhood cash, and Robinhood is able to give individual investors free trades. The debate over payment for order flow busts back into the spotlight when Robinhood briefly restricted its customers from buying more GameStop shares, angering many of its users. How is that a free market with, in any way? That's not a free market. That sounds like communism. These are dirty, dirty people. They deserve jail time. It also led to accusations that Robinhood put the interests of Citadel ahead of its own users, charges that both Robinhood and Citadel deny. But the damage is done. The lasting legacy of the GameStop saga may well be greater scrutiny, if not an outright ban, on this financial industry practice.